G'day, g'day. Hope you guys are all having a good one. Um, this was very much not going to be... I don't know. I only just saw that there was um, some new updates with uh, Substance Painter. Uh, I guess yesterday, today, depending on, you know, your time zone. They they added some a bunch of new stuff, which I'll quickly go over. But there's one feature here uh, that they added... And I think is really cool. So I'll quickly go over that and then I'll go over some other features if you're still interested. Um, so they added a pixelate feature, which is super, super good and super helpful as um, ultimately Substance Painter uses bilinear uh, by default, which is great for getting a nice and smooth result that is potentially maybe more readable. But then it's not sharp and stuff like that. So I often find that like uh, nearest neighbor and those sorts of things often give you a much more readable result uh, due to everything being a whole lot sharper. Uh, so that's kind of the downside of bilinear, um, which I believe is what it already uses. So this is an X that I made a while ago. Um, and here I've just imported everything into uh, like its own um, folders and stuff. Now. I don't know if it's just going to run bad. Sometimes it's... I've been testing. This ran not the greatest, but I feel like it's because I have a heap of um, stuff already. Um, but yeah, to add it, just go filter. Um, and then you'll open up your filter tab. They've imported... Uh, well, they changed up all the... Um, not all of them, but a lot of these uh, icons, which is pretty cool. But going down to pixelate, you'll get uh, this, which is... a you know, already pretty good result. I mean, this is generally probably not what you're after. Uh, and you can go up. Now, you see i got some weird white issues here. Uh, to fix that, I find just clicking uh, that button. Apply to alpha to turn off. Now, I don't know why I still get these weird black issues here. Uh, just increasing it generally gives you a better result. As you can see, we're getting a, a pretty good result there. So that's 128, you know, 256. Uh, I think you're getting a pretty cool result here. And what looks really, really good to me is like 512. Uh, I think that's a really cool uh, mix between, um, you know, having that, uh, you know, being able to see the details that I've added as well as it's still having that cool pixel look. Now, I do see that it adds it to, I guess, like the height normal map kind of there. So uh, I don't know. You could potentially turn that off if you didn't want that. I don't know. I still think it kind of matches it, which is kind of cool. Um, but there may be something that you may dislike. The only downside that I've found is sometimes with where your seams are. See, I have a seam down here, uh, which I probably shouldn't have done. But um, it's too late. I already have a seam here. Um, and yeah, uh, unfortunately, that does get issues. So I'm not too sure if that's something that's ever going to be fixable. If there'd be some, like, triplanar, if, like version of this i don't know i don't know at the end of the day uh it looks pretty cool came out great you got that awesome thing uh prior you could go and import it into substance designer um turn on nearest neighbor go to mip map and i think go custom mip map and you can change like the mip maps so i'll quickly open it up and show Sweet, so here's just a tiling texture that I have in Substance Designer. Now this probably isn't going to be the greatest um, example of everything. Um, but yeah, adding Transformation 2Ds. I already had one here uh, for Unreal Engine, so I can make sure I can keep the color 8-bit as required. But here you can just go Automatic to Manual, uh, Nearest Neighbor, and playing around with the, um, the map map levels. I would give you that pixelated look uh, running this as well. Nearest neighbor. And you can play around with like the details. I think some examples look better than others. I feel like it completely removed, like messes up all the normal maps, at least in here. And I could probably. I mean, I'm not here to, <laughs> at the end of the day, show you guys uh, how this works. Maybe it's the height that you'd potentially want to play with. Oh no, doesn't work the greatest on here, but this I found works to an extent and was a method of doing it. Obviously you could always go into 
um, Substance Painter and play with it. Uh, not Substance Painter, like Photoshop and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, this works out pretty good. Gives you a pretty good result, I find. Um, and yeah, can't wait to, I guess, employ this. This is like perfect timing for a project that I have coming up. Uh, next up, I'm going to be going and covering what else they have added here. So if you're interested in knowing how to do, uh, you know, get that pixelate f uh, filter going, then um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, but yeah, moving along. We've got embroidery. So you can, uh, there's a new, I guess, embroidery decal material. Not too sure where that um where are we embroidery here we go so i assume you can just add this to something i don't know let me test mask something this time i, I mean i haven't checked this one out so actually this is going to be uh interesting to see whether this works or not let me just add oopsies let me just add it on here as a guess a mask And let me see. And maybe bump up that. Add some metallic. I'm not too sure. Just for testing, we can do that. Let's check out this embroidery. Uh, where is it under here? I'm not too sure how it gets applied. Let's see. Okay. Is this a filter or is this, how does this work? Not too sure, maybe it works as a mask or shove it under it? This one's something that I'm gonna have to figure out maybe in my own time and how that's meant to work. Maybe you shove it in here? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, that works out pretty good actually. Play with the threads and stuff like that. Imperfections. Probably tile it a heap more. I don't know if that's meant to be <laughs> like that or not. Uh, but at the end of that, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool result. Something pretty simple and easy to set up as well. Uh, which is pretty great. Awesome. Let's move along. We've got a new fill area color mask filter, which is something that was, I guess, relatively um, overdue, I feel. Um, so I guess that would just be in the case of just going here. Let's just go and we can start adding some uh, parts here. Which one is it? It's this one. Add a filter and what's it called fill fill area color i guess there's that grayscale as well uh uh, uh. but here we go so that's it. applying there uh seems to for the most part work is that just i see the there's a bit of like middleness almost breaking through i'm not too sure if that's the way that I've set it up or not that could be a bug I'm not too sure um, but that's something that's really really helpful because I've been playing around with marmoset texturing a bit lately and uh, that's something that I've seen marmoset do and I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have that prior um, and you if XAA filter um, to reduce anti-aliasing which is uh, great uh, high pass filter um, which would be nice. Pixelate, which is the... I think out of all of these, to me... I mean, yeah. This is going to be a big one. Filling area. Um, but also, Pixelate filter. I mean, for this one, I, th I always found it to be frustrating. But you could work around it. I would What I would do is I'd just get the base area of what I wanted. And then I would just colour it in with a brush. 
um, but that's going to be great. Uh, Pixlate, I mean, the only pixel um, based thing, I actually think I have it open up over here. Um, Pixelator was something that I was looking at um, as an alternative. And so they've got some really good tools. And I guess this is still really great uh, if that's what uh, I guess if that's what you're after. Um, but here, this is very simple and can be used. There's a new posterize uh, filter, which I did notice. Um, so it just reduces the colors. Threshold will be great. Smooth step, improved transform and mirror filters, um, which I guess it's just going to be a bit maybe potentially nice to use. And last but uh, well, pretty much last but not least of these main features here, uh, improved icons, which I think is uh, definitely a good improvement. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, with the different colors, this just means colored and, and then grayscale, of course. Um, but yeah, minor fixes will be nice. USD, visual effects, and I believe this includes textures, so you can now uh, export textures and import textures, which is really cool. Uh, GLTF as well as some other things here. So, uh, yeah, they also mentioned uh, opening will be a bit quicker as well as a couple other things. So, um, at the end of the day, I think, you know, uh, I hope there's definitely more to come. This is more of like a smaller update. It's no like mainline one or anything like that. Um, but I do think, you know, uh, especially as it's a big thing, um, that I'm after, uh, Pixlate filter is, is going to be super awesome, and uh, yeah, that's probably going to be my highlight anyway. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful, entertaining, but as well, uh, you know, educational. You learned how to uh, apply this awesome filter, and hopefully that helps you uh, with your work. Have a good one, and we'll catch you guys next time. Laters!